Hello friends, welcome to Code Board. So in the last video, we saw how to check a prime number in Java and also how to display a prime number between a particular range. Now in this video, we'll see another program that is how to design a calculator in Java. It is pretty simple. So for that, we'll create a project first and then understand how we can do this in Java. So go to file and new Java project. Let's call this program two. And the default settings, we'll click on finish. So we have our source folder. We need a class inside this. So class and we'll call this calculator. We are going to need a main method inside this. So I'm clicking this and package name is going to be com dot code board dot programs. This is the convention we follow. So this is the class for calculator program. Let's go ahead and create it. Now we have our class and main method here. Our program is for calculator. So uh, we are going to take two input numbers from the user. That is going to be our first step and also the operator that we want to perform from the user itself. So depending on the operator and the numbers, dynamically we are going to give the result to the user. So for that, obviously to decide which operation to perform uh, based on the input, we are going to need a switch statement in Java. So let's see step by step how we can do this. So the first step is to take input numbers and operator from user. So let's do that using scanner. So scanner class I'm creating with the object. So scanner object I'm creating here. And we'll import this. Control shift O is the shortcut to import uh, whatever you want in Java. Now uh, we are going to take our first number in let's say int number one. You can take whatever data type you want. If you take double, you can use uh, double as well as integer numbers. So let's uh, take double itself instead of integer. So double number one equal to sc dot next double we can say. After number one, we are going to take operator input. So for operator input, we, it is going to be a single character. So let's take char. If you want any operator of uh, which has two characters, you can simply use string and using sc dot next line, you can take input. But I'm going to use char here since I'm going to take operators of single character. So char and let's say operator equal to sc dot. Now to take character input, what we have to do is sc dot next dot char at zero because we are going to take one one letter or one uh, character. So and then we'll take number two. So whenever user will type the input or give the input, he has to give number one operator number two. So for example, one plus one will be the input. So sc dot again next double since we are taking both numbers in double. Now to decide which operator to use, we are going to use switch statement. So depending on our operator, our result will be different. So first let's take result variable. Okay, our input is double. So it is going to be double again, equal to 0.0. .0. Initially, let's take it to zero. So our second step is to take result variable and initialize to zero. Okay, and our third step is to use switch based on operator. So you know we can give cases in switch statement. So if it is plus, we'll give result as number one plus number two. If it is minus number one minus number two and so on. So let's see how we can do that. So we'll start with switch. And since we are deciding on the operator, the input or the parameter for switch is going to be operator. Let's open this. And now we'll start writing our cases. So case first or here, it is dependent on the operator. So if we get operator as plus, what we want to do is in result, we are going to say number one plus number two. And let's print this. 
so we are going to print result you can directly print number 1 plus number 2 and you can add the text if you want that addition is subtraction is and so on and if we get the first operator as plus we are going to break it so break similarly we'll do for subtraction multiplication and division so same thing only the operator changes so for subtraction all we need is minus for multiplication here we change it to multiplication sign and for division we have this division you can also do it for other cases such as mod or op other operators such as bitwise operators etc so but for example here i am only taking this four operators so we'll see our result now so let's run this so if i say 1 plus 4 the output is 5.0 it is double so 5.0 if you just want integer outputs or integer uh, numbers then you can take the input accordingly you can also give double here so suppose i give 1.8 plus 2.0 then the output is going to be double like this similarly let's try other operators so 4 minus 4 minus 3 okay we have to now observe here we have to give uh, spaces because uh, we haven't given text for the input so it is going to throw exception if we directly give input in without spaces so we need spaces so let's try uh, try again four or either you can give enter or space and it will take input properly four minus three so it is 1.0 similarly it will work for multiplication and division so what if you give any other operator for this statement so we need a default case for that so we need to print that invalid operator or something like that so what if i give 4 4 3 then operation cannot be performed so we are going to give a default case for that and let's print invalid operator and break so let's try this so if i say 4 5 6 it is going to give invalid operator since the second input should be a operator and 5 is not the correct operator so in this way you can design a calculator in java you can add more cases for example you can add bitwise and so if i want to add bitwise and what i can do is similarly i have to copy this and the operation is going to be and so okay now and operator we cannot perform on double so that is why the error here but if you have integer input you can simply perform and so we are going to remove it from here but you can try it on your own using integer inputs so this is how our calculator program works we take the input first if you want you can give your the input statement like please enter the first number please enter the operator please enter the number 2 so user will not make mistakes while entering the input as we saw our exception had occurred if we didn't give proper spaces so you can give input statements there and user will enter properly and then after taking the input we initialize the result to 0.0 and then we write a switch case with the cases of operators and depending on the cases we print the result accordingly so this is how you can dynamically give output using switch statement in java So this was about calculator in the next program we'll see more programs in java in the next video so stay tuned and subscribe to our channel and also like and share this video thank you